Hello everyone and yes, welcome to another episode of Hola Hola brought to you on Flip TV Plus. And of course, I'm still your host, Praise Geniu. Last episode, we talked about a couple of amazing stories. And yes, if you haven't watched, go back to the last video on Hola Hola. Make sure you watch, like, drop as much comments as you can. And yes, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Moving straight to what we have for today, first on today we are going to be talking about sex for grades. Hmm. We all know the video that has gone viral all over the place in this Nigeria. And yes, first of all, I, w I would like to say kudos to Kiki Modi for that brilliant and intelligent documentary on sex for grades. Sex for grades is this situation whereby the lecturer asks their students for sex and in return they give them grades not necessarily good grades but at least they get to pass that they get to pass that course that same lecturer is teaching we all know this has been going on for decades and there are lots of lecturers into this act i mean the cold room experience i don't know if you have watched the video up and we went to the bathroom for a moment he remained in there for just over a minute In my head, I'm thinking, I'm this close to getting hard evidence on this man. So I had to weigh my options, to press the panic button or just wait to see how far he would go. Time for cold room experience. Um, did you lock the door? Yeah, it's locked. This is dark. Sir? I'm close to you already, sir. Sir? No, sit down, sit down, sir. I'm not going to stop. Come close. Sir, I've gotten the I've gotten the cold room come idea. Close, come close, come close. Okay. Sit down. Sit down. Um, it's okay. Look. <clears throat> My baby, my baby. No wait. Oh, that's what I'm doing. I'm not going to hang. Okay, sir. It's okay, sir. Okay, sir. Clearly in that video, this man was saying, okay, oh, it's time for code room experience. Like, I don't understand. Code room experience. For crying out loud, children are placed in your care. Like, to teach them, not only educationally, but also morally, all around that. Like, teach them everything they need to know as they move on in life. But you guys are there harassing these students. And not only females, though, male, male students are also victims of these harassments. You see female lecturers, like, asking male students for sex so that they can pass whatsoever course they are teaching. And this is the reason why most students in schools now don't even bother reading again because they know that once I give this man sex or once I give this lady sex, forget it, I'm done. I've passed the school. And shouldn't be. That's why you see illiterate graduates. I mean, graduates, but they don't know anything. Well, thank God this man has been exposed and he has been arrested and this should be a severe warning to all those lecturers out there that you think you can still have sex with, with um, students and you can get away with it. I'm very sure you must be shaking and you must be scared already like, ah, she won't take coming by. Well, just pray to your gods or your ancestors because you are the next in line. Trust me, you'll be the next person to be exposed. And yes, this is a wake-up call for our government. Government, you need to do something. This is something that has eaten deep. Trust me, all universities, you are going to see two to ten lecturers that sleeps with students in exchange for grades. I mean, they paid for it and if they read and they pass the exams, what are you trying to now ask them for? For sex, for you to even let them pass or let them have their own certificate. That is not right. So governments, please, we need you to do something. Either you need to enforce laws, you need to enact laws and make sure that this act needs to stop. This code room experience needs to die down. Okay, thank you guys. And yes, moving on to the next one for today. And yes, kudos to the wild, wild west, the southwest governors. These ones have set up measures to tackle insecurity with Operation Amoteku. Hmm. Not less than 120 motorcycles and 20 Elox vans have arrived on those states to start this security surveillance. Hmm. 
Not only that, though, drones and modern communication equipment, as well as able personnel, have been put in place to tackle this insecurity. Hmm. Kidnappers, this is your end. Like, you guys are in deep and serious trouble because this Southwest governor, they are not here to play. They are here to show you that, no, 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 no. We are the ones that are going to change this state forever. And yes, we've seen steps that have been taken in different states and this is also an eye opening for all other governors so we can make sure that kidnapping we are not going to hear of them again kidnappers this is their end and all that money they're trying to extort from people from innocent and even poor people they're going to stop and yes we won't even hear about kidnapping in nigeria again and yes once again kudos to the southwest governor and yes we are proud of you guys Okay, moving on to the next one for today. I guess today is some good news day because we have the AKT state government that have proposed life imprisonment for rapists. This is it. Like, these rapists should be sentenced to life imprisonment. In fact, they should be killed on the spot. But well, maybe that one is a bit okay because we all know that this raping issue has gone out of hand. Like the sex work grade we earlier said, most, most students are always raped if they don't want to, you know, if they don't want to adhere to their ways and they try and rape them. You see a 71 year old man sleeping with a 10 year old teenage. Where is that from? These rapists aren't human. You also see a teacher raping students. You see guardians, you see uncles raping knees, raping nephews. So many disheartening videos, so many disheartening stories that we shouldn't even hear among humans. But I think this step is a bold and commendable step. And hopefully this rape or raping or rapist will be off Nigeria and this rape will also die down very soon and yes moving on to the last one for today Moving on to the last one for today. I told you earlier on that I think today is some kind of good news day. And yes, we have David Oyelowo to play title role in The President is Missing. This is a Showtime drama series, an adaptation of the novel by President Bill Clinton and also James Pattinson. David Oyelowo is a good representation of Nigeria in diaspora. And yes, congratulations to David and we wish you more of this. Continue making us proud. We are very proud here. We Nigerians are proud of you. And yes, guys, that will be all for today thank you so much for joining me on this episode of hola hola brought to you on flip tv plus and of course i still remain your host praise gani don't forget to like this video like share drop as much comment as you can and don't forget to also click on the subscribe button see you guys next time bye